Dear Engineer, Welcome to the course of Subtraction Design and Engineering Part 2 Sizing and Calculations In this course, we will understand various design activities, flowchart and requirement of various inputs for sizing and calculation. In this course, we are going to discuss about 1. Introduction on Design and Calculation 2. Design Development Plan 3. Requirement of Inputs for Design and Engineering Flowchart of Subtraction Design and Engineering Activities 5. Primary Engineering where we will cover Source Circuit Force for Strung Bus then Bus Bar Calculation where we will cover source circuit force on equipment, bus post cantilever strength, bus bar sizing calculation. Then we will see earthmet calculation, then sack tension calculation, then electrical clearance, then direct stroke lightning protection, then civil design where we will cover the briefly structure design and civil foundation design lastly we will discuss illumination design calculation under secondary engineering now let's start with introduction this course is prepared with an objective to complete engineering activity of job as per agreed time schedule with customer to achieve this objective we need to focus on following 1. Planning of design activities 2. Design inputs 3. Design review and verification This activity is a backbone of design process and expected to achieve design output. Work instruction and design verification documents of major design activities and equipments are available in this course for ready reference to meet above objectives and quickly carry out design verification. Then we will discuss design development plan where we will cover design inputs, design output, design review and verification and resources required. Then we will see requirement of inputs for design and engineering. First we will see annexer 1 for system parameters requirements in detail and annexer 2, 3, 4 for basic drawings preparation. Then we will also discuss input requirements for new project, extension or reinforcement of project and customer project. We will understand flowchart of subtraction design activities where we see list of basic inputs, various design calculations, various drawings, inputs from manufacturer, relay settings and as well documentation. As a part of primary engineering, we will consider these various calculations. Short circuit forces for strung bus, bus bar sizing calculation, further it can be subcategorized as Short circuit forces on equipments, bus post cantilever strength, bus bar sizing calculation, then design of earthmet, sack tension calculation, electrical clearance, direct stroke lightning protection. In design calculations, we will see purpose of calculation, input required, design criteria, and design methodology. Various detailed sample calculation as mentioned above is also covered in this course.
As a part of secondary engineering, we will see illumination or lighting calculation. Here, we will discuss why lighting is required. Then, we will see input required. Then, design criteria to be considered like types of fixture, lux level to be maintained, maintenance factor, etc. Then, we will see design methodology. Then after we will discuss typical lighting design calculation. Then we will see average lux level to be maintained for various area of the substations including indoor and outdoor. Then in absence of lux level input, this lux level you can consider if any input is not available. Then we will see type of lamps and type of fittings needs to be considered in regards to various area of the substations. We will also discuss input in details like why switcher layout is required to work out various pawn length of the bus bar and flyover or jack bus. Then we will see span length requirements to work out length of conductor and associated parameters. Then we will discuss phase to phase spacing input that is spacing between any two phases. Then we will understand Subconductor input in terms of spacing and number of conductor. We will understand the twin conductor configuration and quad conductor configuration. Then we will see string length with length of hardware and accessories to calculate actual length of conductor which shall be required to carry out the source circuit force for the strung bus. Then we will discuss required conductor details for the source circuit forces for strung bus like mass per unit length of the conductor area of the conductor and diameter of the conductor. Then we will discuss about structure design and civil foundation design where we will discuss about input requirements, design criteria and design methodology. We will also see the system frequency country wise. Then we will also see the various voltage levels and minimum clearance requirement that is face to face for indoor and outdoor applications. For that we will refer the IEC 60071-1 and we will also refer the IEC 61936 part 1 that is power installation exceeding 1 kV AC and 1.5 kV DC. Then we will also understand the CSD that is specific creepage and USCD creepage distance and we will see what is the difference between these two and how to calculate the minimum creepage requirement for the substation outdoor equipment considering the SCD and USCD creepage. We will also understand inputs required for customer projects 
that includes the geographical details other details like project approval and list of constraint then study reports requirement and general data input requirements for the new customer projects so engineer this was the brief introduction about part 2 of sizing and calculation on subtraction design and engineering course thank you so much for watching this introduction video see you great learners in my detailed course